So in this video, we're going to focus on installing the studio, the SAT Panel 1 studio. And just to review what we've got, we've got two machines. One's a SAT Panel 1 instance on a Linux machine. And then we've got a Windows machine, which contains PuTTY to connect and configure our SAT Panel 1 instance. An FTP um, client to be able to move content. And we've also got ODBC and JDBC connectivity so we can connect to our SAP Panel 1 instance. The last step for us is to install our Studio. So the Studio is a graphical user interface which will enable us to configure and use um, the SAP Panel 1 server. Obviously with the client all we can do is connect with ODBC and JDBC but the Studio allows us to build objects view objects and maintain objects. So we've already got the installation files obtained using the FTP client which we got in the previous video. The first thing we need to do is install the studio and then when we've installed the studio we're going to create a connection within the studio which connects to our SAP Panel 1 instance so we'll be able to see all the objects within SAP Panel 1 via the SAP Panel 1 Studio. So when we do that we'll be connecting with JDBC and once we've connected with the SAP HANA Studio what we'll see is a list of schemas in our repository such as the SysBIC schema and the system database and again you'll see all of these when we actually go through the set of videos. So why don't we go ahead and get on with the demonstration videos. In this video we're going to look at installing the SAP HANA Studio on a Windows box which is pointing to a Linux box which has SAP HANA 1 installed on it within the Amazon cloud. So we've already installed the SAP HANA client which is basically ODBC and JDBC connectivity. If I go to my administration tools and go to the um, ODBC connectivity, we can see here we've already got that HDB ODBC driver installed as per the previous video. What we're going to do now is install the studio. And again, we've already installed the studio on this Windows box, which we accessed from our SAP Panel 1 server using an FTP client. So of course the first thing to do would be to extract the install, install files. So I'm going to extract them to my desktop by right clicking and saying extract all and selecting extract. Now the assumption when you install the studio is that the JRE 1.7 is already on your Windows box. If it isn't and you for example haven't chosen this exact same type of Windows um, client then there's another video within this series which shows you how to install the JRE. So to install the studio I go into the studio folder and we're going to select the HDB setup and I'll close the Explorer window. We'll install it to the default folder, so I'll click on next. Again, the assumption is that the client is installed because you're going to connect using, you can also connect with ODBC, JDBC, you'll need JDBC to connect. So I'm going to click on install. It only takes a few minutes to install, but while it's installing, I'll just pause the recording of the video and come back when the installation's finished. So here we can see that we've been successfully installed the studio and then I'll click on finish. So now that we've installed the studio I'm just going to delete these install files and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to test that this, the connectivity works. So to do this I'm going to launch the SAP HANA Studio by going to start all programs SAP HANA and select the SAP HANA Studio. The first thing we need to do when we launch the SAP HANA Studio is create a connection or add a system which connects us to our SAP HANA 1 server which is on Linux. 
So we can do this by closing the welcome screen, right clicking within the navigator and selecting new system or add system. The host name again for the Linux server, the SAP HANA 1 server, can be obtained from your AWS management system. So here I can see if I go back to my instances, we have our HANA server on Linux. I'm going to copy that URL of the machine and I'll paste it into the host name field. The instance number will be 00. Again, we know that because the port was 30015. We don't need a description, so we'll just click on Next. Now we log on with the database user, which by default is System Manager, but be aware that you might have changed your login and password for this system. So then I'll click on Next. It shows the connectivity, so we're going through JDBC. Then I'll click on Finish. You'll be prompted to create a master password, but we don't actually need this, so I'm going to click on No. And just to verify that we've connected, if I, I'm just going to close some of these windows which we don't need, such as the properties and the error logs. If we expand the catalog, we can see a list of schemas which are in our SAP Panel 1 system, which is on the Linux server. So that's a small video on how you can install the SAP HANA Studio on a Windows box which is within the Amazon Cloud which connects to a SAP HANA 1 Linux server which is also within the Amazon Cloud.